Well, hello again. Uh, it's my daughter's 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Um, it's got some mechanical issues I'm working on. Got some parts ordered. And not much to do on it until the parts get here. But uh, just thought I'd share with you. My daughter had kind of been uh, wanting me to see about a new set of headlights. This thing, they uh, you can see they're a bit fogged over. It's just the uh, plastic lens exposed to UV and sunlight for quite a few years. It starts to starts to fog over pretty good, and it's limiting her the reach of her lights when she drives at night. And so they have these nice little kits you can buy at your local auto auto uh, parts house. And uh, she actually tried that. Uh, my father-in-law has a kit, and she tried it and didn't make a lot of improvement for some reason. But uh, so I thought I'd see what I could do and so I decided to use just some standard rubbing compound and a uh, little buffer I have and uh, well I'll tell you it turned out looking pretty nice if you look at this side it had previously looked a lot like this side and you can see it's better so let's go through it and I'll show you what I did and how I did it and if you want to do it yourself later then you'll have that opportunity uh, what I used here is a uh, standard what I consider pretty standard rubbing compound. Uh, I'm no brand name guy, so rubbing compounds, rubbing compound in my book. But uh, anyway, we used rubbing compound, and then I have a small. I think it's made by Ryobi, but it's just a little buffer wheel and a uh, little electric buffer. And so uh, anyway, just apply some rubbing compound to the to the pad. And apply the pad to the the light and uh, you're good to go so I'll do that for you okay so I've applied some you can see it here some rubby compound to the pad and then I just uh, like to smear it in here to keep it from going all over the place when I turn the motor on I'm gonna do that anyway and here we go so just a matter of Working it in. Well, so after about, oh, I don't know, five or so minutes of of uh, buffing with the buffing wheel we're down to uh, down to cleaning it off uh, with stuff starts to dry up on there and uh, get gummed up so just got to take it now and give it a good wipe down there's a lot of little cracks and crevices where this stuff goes and you gotta kind of work to get it out of those cracks and crevices here between the grill and the and the light itself yeah, come on now. Quite a bit of, of stuff, gooey stuff gets in there. So, just wipe it down. All the way around the corner here. And, it's almost like a new headlight. So there we go, we got two freshly freshly polished headlights I think her lights at night are gonna reach much much better let's get out of the glare there you can kind of see how well that looks I'm impressed I'll be doing that to some others probably while I still have my equipment out that looks awesome I hope it helps you with a rubbing compound and a buffer talk to you later